Good morning, friends. Welcome back. You guys, we are going to do today a really fun, dramatic holiday look. Um, but before we begin, welcome. My name is Annie. Welcome to my page. Um, I am a Cleveland pro makeup artist, and I am here to show you how I'm going to give you guys the perfect inspo for the most beautiful, dramatic, take it as dramatic as you want. Remember, makeup is however dramatic you want it to be, but I'm going to show you how to do the most beautiful holiday glam. And I plan on like, so today we have stuff going on with the family. Um, and I definitely plan on wearing this for Christmas Eve, Christmas day, etc. So to get the perfect holiday eye makeup look, keep watching. Um, and if you are new to my page, welcome. I'm so fun. So glad you found me, excuse me. And I hope you guys enjoy the content and I hope you learned something that you can incorporate in your everyday life to be looking glam. So before we begin, um, I have already had my face and my eyebrows on. This exact face makeup look is actually on a video, not my bold lip from yesterday, the one before, like the holiday face glam. This exact look with the exact products is already on my channel. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, it's already live. Check out that video. Um, but we are going to do today a holiday eye look. I'm a little bit more blush. And we are going to uh, do a false lash application. So if you are learning to put on false lashes or wanting to learn or struggling with false lashes, I'm going to give you my best professional tips on how to put them on and they're going to look amazing. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do though, I'm going to exfoliate my lips. Um, I'm currently obsessed. My peppermint stick came in. This is the limited edition peppermint exfoliator. This came in. I just want to do this quickly before I move on to my eyes. Um, I'm going to be doing probably just a nude lip today my favorite nude combo but this exfoliator is life-changing and I cannot get enough of it so I just kind of put that on I'm gonna rub it out with my finger and this just really exfoliates it's got coconut oil in it peppermint oil and this helps get rid of I use a makeup wipe that's right in front of me get rid of any like cr dry cracked lips you know what I mean that's what this is for. So we did that. I'm going to put a little bit of chapstick on and we're moving on. So good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, what I want to do today is I kind of want to simplify this look so that anyone can create this. And I was thinking about it and I have all these like beautiful pressed shades from Unique that I absolutely adore. But I feel like for the holidays, if you really want to get the perfect gift for someone, yourself, whoever it is, get a palette. Because I think these are phenomenal. And I really think this is like a one-stop shop. This is the Mood Struck One Palette. I'm going to use this today. And I'm going to show you guys how you can create the most bomb-ass makeup look with this palette. It's going to be kind of dramatic. And I use this palette all the time. But bear with me. I really want to take this... Um, darker today. I really want to do a really bright lid. So I'm going to do a couple different techniques that I don't really do on camera simply because most of my techniques and tutorials are pretty like quick makeup tutorial, mom glam for the girl on the go type thing. But today I'm going to take my time and actually show you how I would do this. Um, this palette is, reminds me of like the Urban, the Naked palette by Urban Decay, like the, the Naked Original palette. This is like the perfect everyday warm tones. My recommendation if you are a warm tone or a cool tone girl, the Moodstruck 1 is the warm palette. Moodstruck 2 is also awesome, and this is the 2. These I would highly, highly, highly recommend for a Christmas gift. They're perfect, perfect price range, and it's a really high-quality gift. So let me show you how we're going to create the most bomb makeup look with this palette. Are you guys ready? Okay, I'm going to actually, I wonder if I could, I don't know how to zoom in. Oh, you can zoom in on this. Good. I'm going to actually get really close so you guys can see. I have a mirror in front of me, so I'm working on a tight space over here. Um... And I'm going to get really close. All right, hello. Now, let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is the only thing I'm not going to use that's in this palette is um, I'm going to use my, actually, no, I'll just use Chipper. Chipper should be fine. So I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush. This is my unique blending brush. And I'm going to go in with Chipper. Chipper is this middle shade right here. And we are going to take this, you guys, pretty dark. And I am working this into my crease just like this. I'm using a light hand, pretty light hand with this because... This is typically, this is like a darker shade than I normally, I normally go in with Astute, it's a little bit lighter. You can go in with Chipper, just use a lighter hand and then you just kind of build. So we're going to build this look and this is going to be awesome. I just feel like it's really hard to 
find the perfect shades. Sometimes like, I don't know. I just, some, sometimes I think a palette is the best way to go. Um, that, and they already have these beautiful shades picked for you and you cannot go wrong and they're stunning. So I'm going to show you guys how one palette is like a one-stop shop. You could do so many looks with this. I have probably done four or five makeup videos minimum on my page with just this palette. So this, again, we are just taking chipper. I am just working this into my crease just like this. So today you guys is, so it's Saturday, we are celebrating Christmas with my husband's side. So we are going down to visit all of them. So we have to get ready kind of early and, you know, get ready to go and everything. So I really wanted to show you guys like a really cool, dramatic look. One that I would totally, you know, rock. I love this look. It's a very easy look once you know how to do it. So you see, same brush, same shadow. I am just building. You see how I just keep building that in my crease? Okay. So I'm now going to go in with fourth right. So fourth right is this, it's a, it's a little bit darker than chipper. I'm going to switch out my brushes and I'm going to actually, because I want to really focus fourth right on the outer corner of my eye. And I really want to really deepen that up because I want this to be dramatic, you guys. So I'm going to take a smaller brush. This is a Morphe brush. This is a JH31. Take fourth right. And I'm going to work this. So if I'm looking straight into the camera, I'm working this right in this corner. I want this to be really dark right here. Now, if you are uncomfortable with how dark this is, you do not have to take it this dark. But I am showing you girls how to achieve this look. So I'm going to take it. And we're going, we're going all for it. We're going... All the way because we're gonna do false lashes too so if you guys have been struggling with false lashes or just like needing a really good tutorial on how to do it you guys are gonna be so I'm really happy to show you because I think um, lashes are very intimidating but once you know how to do them you could I can put lashes on someone with my eyes closed it is like a no-brainer for me I've been doing it for so long but getting to that point takes practice so I'm gonna show you guys my best tips to get you to that point you guys see how we are deepening up this corner? Again, this is the shade fourth right. And I'm keeping this in my outer corner, blending in this area. See? And I want it to be dark so this doesn't like, you know. Okay. And my sisters are calling me. Hey, hon, if you're watching. Seth, just text Diana that I'm on live so she knows because she's called twice. So I want to make sure everything's okay. So. You guys, I think it's I think it's official where I can tell you guys my sister Diana and Lucy are expecting. That's the third time she's called. So Seth, if you're on, can you text her please? Um, so anyways, Diana just had her gender reveal at the end of November. She's having a little girl. And Lucy, my youngest sister, is pregnant with her first little baby. And um, her gender reveal is tomorrow. So this is going to be such a fun weekend. We see my husband's family today my family tomorrow and it's just going to be awesome. I'm so, so excited. So yeah, Seth, if you are on, hon, please text. She's called me three times. Just text her or call her that I'm on live. Cause she, my sister's like, we'll call and call and call until you answer. And if you hit like the decline button, they're like, what's wrong? Thank you, honey. Okay. So you see how we added that dark color? I'm going to go back in with chipper and I tilt my head back, you guys. And I just blend out this, this area right here. So I don't get that choppiness. Of course, my phone is low connection. What is going on? Okay, so you see how we're just blending chipper out. So I want to show you guys how blended I take it. I take it very blended. And when you think you need to blend some more, blend some more. That is my, that is my advice. You guys see? Okay. So remember what I always tell you guys. Eyeshadow is the essence of um, layering. We are so close. Hello. Um, so essence is the eyeshadow of layering. So we are just layering. I'm going to go back in with this fourth right a little bit more. Really darken it up. Now, I am being very careful because I already have my face makeup on, so I don't want to get any pigment or fallout. So I'm being very careful with how I'm tapping this on, you guys. Like so. Yeah, 
So my two sisters are pregnant and they are actually due within four days of each other. Isn't that wild? So they are both due in June, next June. So um, we know the one gender. Diana's having a little girl. We'll find out Lucy's tomorrow. So I'm just so excited. It's going to be like the, oh, I love, and that's another thing too. I love gender reveals. I don't know why. They just like complete me. I just love gender reveals. So I'm so pumped for tomorrow. Okay. So yes. So I'm so excited because besides being a mom, the most wonderful thing I've ever been in this world is an aunt. So I am like so excited. So, so excited. Okay. You guys see how blended? Now, we're going to do a trick. Let me see. I got my hair everywhere. We're going to do a trick. Now, this is like, this is not, how do I say this? This trick is done, to, like, if you guys, like, watch YouTube or whatever, like, this is all over. But this is a really easy trick to use to really get a vibrant, um, beautiful inner corner and like a lid look. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. The trick is to use your concealer and you're going to create a base. When I'm working on clients, I actually use, um, a Mac product, but concealer is actually a wonderful way to do it. And I'm going to show you guys how you kind of create this really pretty like oval with the concealer as a base. And then you kind of apply, um, shimmer on top of it and, it's super, super, super beautiful. And all it does is it adds a little bit of like volume, like a little bit of brightness, if you will. So I'm actually, I should probably keep you close. I'm gonna keep you close so you guys can see. Hello. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your concealer, which I already have a little bit in the back of my hand, and you're gonna need a flat shader brush. So I am using a flat shader brush to achieve this look because you need to have um, some precision, okay? You don't have to do this step. You can obviously um, go without it, but I'm gonna show you how I would do it. I do this a lot with brides. I do this a lot with evening looks. Um, this is a trick that's been around for a long time. It just takes a little bit of practice if you've never done it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a flat shader brush. I'm gonna take the back of my, my brush with some concealer and you are just going to kind of, I hold my eye taut like this and you are going to apply concealer just in your inner corner like this. And what you wanna do is you wanna really create a sharp, look like this like a little moon think of like a, a half moon you guys and I'm not gonna go all the way over because I want to keep this dark but do you see how you just kind of create this little moon that is what you want to do so this is like a the perfect way plus two let me let me back up if you are working with like a loose pigment or something this is the best way to put it on. So you guys see that that little effect right there? Okay. This does take some time. So be patient and don't feel like you mess up. Now, I'm not really being careful with the outer corner because I'm going to go over that with shimmer. But this is the best way to get the most pigment. So I'm going to do this right in here. Like this. Okay. Now we're going to go in with shadow. So I'm actually going to spray my brush. I'm going to use a different brush. And I'm going to spray my brush with my Behold Setting Spray. And I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix today. Because I just did a look with Swanky. I'm going to mix Brassy and Swanky. I really like these shades. Um, and they're actually stunning together. You And don't be afraid to, to layer shimmer shadows, you guys. And I'm going to put this right on top of that concealer. You guys see how bright that looks? So I am pressing this onto my brush and we are putting this all over that area where the concealer is. Isn't that awesome? Now, my brush, just look at, I mean, I think I used the opposite side on accident. I love this look. This is a very easy look and you don't have to do the concealer step. You guys, if that part scares you, don't do it. You don't have to, but this is how you're going to get like the most pigment and the brightest amount. And you're just going to be like, it's awesome. Do you guys see? Let me zoom you in. Let me focus you up a little bit. Okay. You guys see if I close my eye, how pigmented that is. So these are the two shimmer shades in the palette. And that is 
the way to do it. Isn't that awesome? Now, here's what we're going to do. Go back with chipper. I'm, I'm psychotic about blending. So you see this little area right here? I'm going to blend that out with chipper. It's so, so easy. Woo! Got powder everywhere. I'm going with chipper, and I'm going to tilt my head back, and I'm just going to blend just like this. Just so it doesn't look choppy. Nothing gets me more than looking like a choppy look. See how that easily that blended out, you guys? Okay. And I'm okay with that. Like I, that's kind of like what I wanted. I will go back in and kind of deepen this up. Give this a little bit more depth right out here. And then that is it. Isn't that awesome? So pretty. So yeah, I love this look. Super, super, super pretty. Now, let me go back in with this brush. Let me deepen this a little bit. And always go back and blend. So just because you put a, a product on doesn't mean you can't go back and touch it again. You can always go back and blend. Isn't that cool, you guys? So let me go... One more time, blend this out, and it's gonna it's gonna like keep your makeup on all day. Like this will not budge. And then let's do the other side. So I'm gonna get a little bit more concealer on this brush. I have to kind of situate myself this way with my mirror, and I'm going to start this in my inner corner, and I'm just gonna build this. Just like this. See how easy? Remember, we don't have. We, I'm not too concerned about it being a little bit like unfinished at the end because I want that to be more blunt. You see, how we took the brow. We still have that deep color on this on the outer corner, so it's okay if you leave it like that. So I just take a little bit more concealer. You guys see how easy that is. Awesome. Now let's go back with our shading brush, our flat shader brush. Spray the brush again. I actually use the opposite side and I spray that side. I'm going to go in with Brassy and Swanky. And I'm going to apply this to the center of my eye and then going that way. So I'm going to move it to the center and then we're going inner. So remember the concealer does not have to be perfect on the outer corner. A little bit undone is actually what we want it to be. You guys can see how. See how pigmented. I'm trying to look down. You see how pigmented. I'm holding my lashes down so you can see how pigmented that is. It's awesome. This is a very, very, very easy look. Now, remember what I taught you. See how this is a little bit choppy? I don't like how choppy that is. So. We are going to blend that out. I'm gonna, I think I used chipper. Yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit of chipper and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend this area. So tilt your head back. See where that little choppiness is? Blend that out, okay? Then we're gonna go in with forthright and deepen the outer corner. See how easy that is? There's like barely anything on my brush. Just a couple strokes back and forth really, really, really blends it and makes it look so seamless. So. Try that out. Blend and blend and blend. So here we go. We're adding a little bit more dark. Like so. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Are we unzoomed? Okay, we're all unzoomed. Now, what I'm going to do quickly, when working with pigments, if you see anything fall on your face, you have to brush it off right away. So I have a little bit of fallout. I'm just going to dust that off like so. Okay. What do you guys think? Isn't this perfect for the holidays? Okay. So I think we're okay with the top for now. I will probably come back and do a little bit more blending. That's just how I am. I'm going to highlight our brow bone and I'm going to use the same concealer. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to highlight this area, 
the number one problem with people doing smoky eyes is if you take the smoke or like the eyeshadow too far up, it's it doesn't it doesn't look right. So you don't want it all over your eye. You want it you want your brow bone to still be brightened. So what you do is you go with a little bit of concealer and then we just blend that out. It takes it's no time at all. And it really, really, really shows like a beautiful blended look. You want your brow bone to have like this little bit of lift right here, having that concealer there. You guys still with me? You follow me? The Italians would say, you capiche? Understand? Okay. So let's move on. So we got to get moving. I'm going to add some eyeliner. And then we are going to move on to some false lashes. Okay. What do you guys think? Isn't that awesome? You can create so many looks with just this one palette. It's insane. That's why, like, everyone needs a really good everyday palette where they could do this. Where is my eyeliner? Hold on, girly girls and boys. Here it is. I'm going to use the Stila Stay All Day Liner. I'm going to, I always just kind of shake it up like this. I'm going to apply this to my outer corner. Like so. We're moving along, guys. You see how awesome the concealer just gave you that extra boost of brightness? Isn't that really pretty? All right. So now I kind of let that sit. I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner underneath. I'm going to use proper. If I could find it, I don't know why I keep losing it. Oh, here it is. Take it, Jesus. I have proper. I'm going to kind of line my lower lashes with this. You can skip this step, and you can also just use eyeshadow. So it's totally up to you. I'm just going to use proper because I have it in front of me and because I love it. All right, now what we're going to do, we're almost done, girls. See, it was not that bad. We're going to go with the flat shader brush. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, which is forthright in this palette. And we're going to add this to our lower lash line. My thought on this is when you have a lot going on on your upper lid, you really want to balance it out. You don't want your lash, like your look to be like too top heavy. Like you don't want too much going on in the top and not balancing it on the bottom. So even just a little bit of eyeshadow will really help balance that look, if that makes sense. So yeah, so good morning, you guys. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're going down for my husband's family. And then tomorrow we have another event for Lucy. I'm so excited. All right, we're blending this out. I'm using Chipper. So on the lower lashes, I just use the same browns we used on top. I used fourth, right, and chipper. Okay? You guys still with me? I hope you're still with me. And that is how you're going to get a really pretty balanced <sighs> the, pow the powder <laughs> on my makeup stain right now. is like out of this world. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit of brassy. Add that to my inner corner. Bring that down. I love a bright under eye and a bright like inner corner highlight. Okay, <gasps> fun part. Okay, let's throw on some mascara. It does not take a lot of like technique today with mascara because we're just, we're doing lashes. The whole point is to coat your lashes with mascara before you go in with falsies. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of um, mascara. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that it takes me forever to do this, but not today, folks. Not today. We are just coating them. The biggest faux pas as a makeup artist is when I see a girl like who has false lashes on and they're stunning, but you can see their real lashes right underneath and they're not blended. So when you see a false lash and then you see like a blonde natural lash, you got to blend it out. Don't let it, don't let it be that way. So just coat your mess, your lash with mascara. Do it in this order. You see how I'm doing it first, do that first. And we're going to put falsies on. Okay. So nothing crazy. I just have a lot of long lashes and inner corner lashes. So I want to make sure I get them all. 
Then I'm gonna go in with my mascara on the lowers, like the lower lashes. I can hear Cameron laughing from up here. Okay, you guys see I've got the lashes on, like so all the lashes are covered, right? Ooh, almost got myself in the eyeball. This is the fun part. Okay, we're gonna do some falsies. Falsies and the holidays go together like peanut butter and jelly, you guys. So let's put some false lashes on. Now I'm gonna use just an, like a roll I say this, but I'm going to use a wispy lash. This to me is like an everyday lash. Um, my lashes are the same length as a wispy. So these to me are just like adding more volume depending on your eye shape and how much lashes you have. This is my lash bag. Um, it might be more, like a lot. So I, my recommendation for lashes always are Dell. They never let me down. Well, actually, I like the kiss lashes too, but our Dell lashes are the most comfortable to wear. I love Wispies and I love Demi Wispies and those are my favorite. So I have taken my Duo. I use the uh, Duo Lash Glue in dark and I put this right on top of like my clear container. I'm going to put this right in front of me and here are my lashes. So let me get my tweezers out. I use tweezers. These things come with plastic applicators. Use those if you're new at this. But this obviously goes with this side and this to this side. Take your tweezers, you're gonna peel from the outer corner, like so. I have worn Ardell Wispies a thousand times. I know these fit my eye. If you are wearing a new lash, make sure you take the time to put this on your eye, like with just normal, with no glue on it, and make sure it fits, okay? If it's too long, trim it. Um, if you've ever worn lashes and they've been really uncomfortable or they're poking you, it's because whoever put them on, or maybe yourself, you did not size them. So there is nothing worse than having a lash that doesn't fit you and it pokes you in your eyeball all day. Like there's nothing worse. And almost everyone wears contacts. So as a makeup artist, I'm very, very sensitive to um, that. It has, your lashes have to fit perfect. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom you guys in again. And what's, what's going on now is I put the glue on the back of my thing. I'm going to zoom you in so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna let it dry just for like 60 seconds, maybe 60 seconds, minute and a half. And I always start with my right eye because my left eye is easier. Now I hold it in the center like so. You guys see how I'm holding it? I'm gonna use this mirror so you might see my mirror. Actually, you probably won't because it's so zoomed in. And I'm going to look down, move my foot. I'm gonna look down and place this right on top, center to center, okay? Remember, I've taught you guys that before. This isn't the first time I've put a lash video online. So we're gonna match center to center, okay? We're gonna come in from the top. Do you see, can you guys see? Like so. I'm gonna tuck it in the outer corner and I'm gonna tuck it in the inner corner. And now it is on. See how easy that was? Now again, I've done this for years and years and years. I am comfortable with going into my eyeball area with tweezers in my hand. I've done it for years. Be careful, use the plastic applicators if you've never done it, okay? Please Lord, don't stab yourself in the eyeball. That is not what we're here for. My trick is when your glue is tacky and you put this on correctly, they will not budge. So I'm taking this other strip. I use the back of my tweezers. I just kind of put the glue. That's another thing too. You don't need a glob of glue. The <laughs> a little glue goes a long way. The most glue should always be on the outer corners. I see a lot of girls go in and this this scares the shit out of me. Ooh. This scares me as a makeup artist, but I, I, I don't like when girls just take their glue and squeeze their glue onto their lashes. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't do that, right? Because that is not what we want to do here. So I'm going to zoom you in again. Hello, girls. Look how zoomed in we are. And we are going to put the center to center. I kind of blow on them, but I know this glue is tacky. It's been sitting here since we started. So my glue is tacky. I'm going to go, and this is why if this eye is easier because I have my left hand to help me and I'm right-handed. So I'm going to put this center to center. 
and I kind of just tuck this down and I tuck this down see now what I do is I'll like I'll close my eye and I'll make sure like this is laying perfect which it is. And remember, this glue is going to dry dark, okay? So the lash glue will dry dark. Now, they are on. They're looking good. You guys see how it just completes the look? This is how you vamp up your look, girly girls. Anyone can put on lashes. You have to be patient. You cannot be in a rush. You have to be very, very careful with going around your eyeball with foreign objects. So please hear me when I say this. Now, this will dry dark. I will still go over it with, once it's dry, I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to blend it in. But it's we're not there yet, it's still drying, okay? While this is drying, we're gonna do our lips. So remember, we already exfoliated our lips. We have lip lipstick on, or lipstick, lip gloss, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do my favorite nude. I'm gonna probably do, um, I like to use, you guys, Sublime, and I'm going to change it up. I think I'm going to use Prim today for my uh, lip liner, but um, I tend to, actually, that's a lie. I like, you can do a nude lip, or you could do, hello, Eileen. Um, good morning. I didn't say good morning to all my friends out there, but hello, friends. Um, but what I was saying was, is um, you could do a bold lip and totally rock that look, or you could do a nude lip today. It's a you know, a daytime event. I'm just going to do a nude lip. Um, but for my Christmas pictures, I did a look, a full glam look a couple weeks ago, you guys. That was back in November. And I did a full, like, red lip um, with eyes, like, that are this dramatic. And it looked, my pictures came out wonderful. Um, and it looked awesome. So here's what we're going to do. Don't be scared. This is, like, a purple eyeliner, but I like to use this as a lip liner. And we are going to put on a liquid lipstick, and we're going to actually top that with a lip gloss. Um, I'm going to use Lux today because Lux is my jam or Lucid. Lux or Lucid have been my jams lately. So I love this look. So don't be scared. So watch. So as our glue is drying, remember our glue is drying, okay? I'm going to go in and line my lips. Like so. Do not freak out. Do not freak out. I promise it's going to look awesome. I go in with Sublime. This is my go-to ride or die. I use Sublime, Sympathetic, and Sparkling. They're all the nude shades that we have. And you guys can shop these products. If you tap the screen, you can shop these products. And there's a link in my description, okay? At, like Literally the most perfect, perfect look for the holiday. Okay, so you see how pretty that looks? The point of that eye, that lip liner is to keep our lips in place so they do not move. See? I told you girls not to be scared. And put some Lux on top. My favorite gloss. Isn't that stunning? So you can't even really see the purple. You can go back and kind of like line a little bit. But that is like my favorite go-to nude. So we're gonna do one more thing before we're done. This is like two more things. This is because I'm crazy and psychotic. This is what I do as a makeup artist. When you have lashes on, Go over that lash line one more time with your eyeliner, okay? So we're going to go over it one more time. So now it's black. You guys see how black that is? I'm going to go over this one more time. Are you 
hear Cameron downstairs running around rampant. Oh my God, what is that child doing? Okay, then my final tip, don't skip these steps, you guys. I promise you, if you skip them, no bueno. But I, I take my mascara and I blend my lashes with these fake ones. You see the difference? I don't like that look of like the separation. I like it all to look blended. I like to put a little bit of mascara on the tips of these lashes. You see the difference, you guys? And that is how you put them on. If you put on false lashes, send me a message so I know. Let me know how good they look. But this look was created. Hold on, let me dust. This has been on the whole time. Let me dust this off. This is my bake for my contour. This exact look, you guys, for the contour is live on my channel. I did it a couple days ago. I think on Wednesday. So go check it out. This entire eye makeup look, you guys, was created with this one palette. So if you are looking for the perfect holiday gift, tap the link in my description and get yourself the Moodstruck One palette. I promise you, I use it all the time. I've created countless looks with this as I drop my lip bag. Oh my God. Um, countless looks with this. And then the lip combo we used was a purposeful purple eyeliner. Um, and then we used sublime liquid lipstick and we topped it with luxe gloss all right you guys so this is the final look i'm gonna lift you up and so you guys can see because i have to get ready we have like a two hour ride or like an hour and a half car ride so i have to get my son prepped and dressed but this is the final look okay see how pretty that looks you guys can totally totally do this look at home and if you do send me a message send me a picture i would love to see it okay happy saturday you guys have a fantastic weekend and i will be back on here soon with another look bye guys